Hey guys, welcome to another Door 10 5 video, and uh, this is where we're going to cover pack 1B. On the previous one, I should have covered pack 1A, but in this one, we're going to cover pack 1B. And um, this is going to be the same in the same format. So pretty much pack 1B, I'm going to be telling you what they are and then which ones to recommend and for what reasons. So starting off, we have Yeti. Yeti has a, uh, it's a pretty much a gathering troop travel speed. And this is only really useful if you are and someone that gathers and, and are in the kingdom where you have to like you have the fir uh, first to get their rule of course every kingdom is different and every everyone plays differently of course so uh, it's not really one that i will recommend going for it right away but it is one that could be helpful in the future next we have beastmaster now this is a supply to travel speed which is a good one when you're sending a lot of resources because you can send them faster because they get back, they get to the destination faster, and they come back to you faster. But it's not one for you to target and want to boost it right off the bat. Next up, you have Gnome, and Gnome is another resource one. This is for your gold production. If you're gonna be a gold hyper, uh, this is one that you would need to focus on maxing out. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, right here we have Ter Terra Spike, which is the same thing as but it's for food production, and this is only you're really a food hyper. That's the only reason you should be focusing this one at all. Next up is Aquarius. Aquarius is a must tool that I that I will recommend to going after you finish Terraid. Now the first ability gives you animal production. Now the reason you need animal production is since you're gonna be uh, merging packs a lot faster because uh, Terraid in the previous video will show you that you can merge packs faster with it. Uh, that means you're gonna need more animal faster because you need animal to merge packs. So okay, getting as much animal production as you can is a really important thing for you to do. But then also, we have right here refreshed. Now refreshed when it's maxed out it gives you sixty to one hundred twenty stamina every twelve hours. That means every twenty four hours, every day, you practically get it free, a free brave heart or two, depending how lucky you get. But if you get both sixty, which is the lowest amount, you get one hundred twenty stamina for free in a day, which is one free brave heart. That's two thousand gems right there. So pretty much this gives you two thousand or four thousand gems of stamina per day for free. Now you're thinking, well, I already have everything gold. Well, once you have everything gold on, on all your heroes, you can do two things. You want to either focus on getting 300 uh, medals on each, on each hero just in case IG ever comes up with mythic heroes. Or you can ju just do keep spamming this one location so you can get a lot of speed ups because speed ups are always good no matter what point of the game you are. And you can be running 7-8, no, 7-15. You just run that on auto on normal and with that you should be able to just pass uh just uh, get a lot of free speeds per day and that's and that would be a total of about uh, 20 to 40 free uh free 10 minute speed ups that, um just for free just at a, at a click of a button that's a lot of speed ups that they, they add up i was i got to a point that had seven thousand ten hour speed ups which uh, helped me boost up a lot of t2 so now to jump into the battle skills that they have. So in pack 2, we going all the way back into Yeti. The army attack, we have um, cavalry base attacks, attack damage, which is again a good one if you don't have good good stats. But it's not one that I would recommend going for. It's a, it's good for attacking, it's, it's okay for defense, it, but there's better ones. Like the HP reduction ones. Then we have Beastmaster. Uh, Beastmaster uh, army of talent is that at the start of battle uses the cavalry defense, which again, defense is not something you want to focus on. So I wouldn't recommend going for that one. Gnome is the range attack uh, increased, so it's a base 50% once maxed out, which can help you out on attacking, but of course, it's just f base attack. Uh, next up, we have Terror Spiker. Uh, we have um, at the start of battle, the enemy infantry max HP is reduced by 40%. This is a good one for defending. Especially against an infantry at the front lane, that way they have a lot less HP, so you can wipe them out faster and you take less damage. Uh, for Aquarius, its battle is that it reduces the army max HP by by fifty percent, which is a very good stat because you can use this one whenever you're being hit by a mixed Bradley because you don't know what they're actually sending to you, so you can reduce it by fifty percent. What the other ones you can gamble forty percent or not reducing at all. But this is one that I do have definite. I would definitely recommend for army talent for defense, of course. Just defense, not for offense. Offense is a lot better once out there, and I'll be covering them in the in the future. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please press like. Uh, leave a like in the video. Comment on if you wanna if 
which ones of these you prefer. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.